Toyota Camry is a landmark car for our market. From generation to generation, it confidently pushes the competition and holds high positions in its class. The seventh-generation sedan was no exception and quickly occupied its niche, including the secondary market, which presents the widest selection of cars. Many buyers still believe that Toyota still produces exceptionally high-quality and reliable vehicles. Let's check if this statement is true for the used Camry 1550. Let's delve into its track record, determine the most dangerous and friendly modifications. The most obvious of the body problems is corrosion on the hood and trunk lid, applies only to pre or four cars. On this occasion, the manufacturer issued a technical bulletin describing the repair procedure. Guided by him, dealers managed to repaint many cars during the warranty period. Electrochemical corrosion occurs under the chrome trim on the hood and trunk lid at their attachment points, bolded connection, which spreads to body panels. A technical bulletin repair involves repainting affected parts using an acid primer. Repeated electrochemical corrosion is excluded by isolating the lining fasteners, heat shrink tubes, from body panels, polyethylene patches in the holes. Also, on pre-styling cars, the quality of the anti-corrosion protection of the hood is very lame. A small chip is enough to cause swelling of the paint. All these shortcomings were corrected when updating the car. Xenon headlight bulbs are not durable. The plant repeatedly upgraded and even changed their manufacturers, but did not fix the problem. At first, flickering lamps were updated under warranty, but then a technical bulletin came out, which actually equated their failure, swollen bulb, to natural wear and tear. As a result, xenon lamps began to be changed free of charge only in isolated cases. A sandwich from the radiators of the engine and air conditioner clogs with dirt rather quickly. It is advisable to flush them every 50,000 to 60,000 kilometers. This is especially important for modifications with six-speed automatics which do not tolerate overheating, their cooling circuit passes through the engine radiator. Chrome-plated body finish very quickly loses its marketable appearance due to corrosion. This mainly concerns the radiator grille, lining on the hood and trunk lid, as well as the fog lamp bezels. At the same time, door handles with a similar coating hold up well. Corrosion resistance of chrome-plated door sill trims is extremely low. Rust progresses especially quickly if the dealer, during pre-sale preparation, or the owner does not remove the factory protective, shipping, film from them, under which moisture inevitably gets. Pre-reform cars were also marked by foci of corrosion in the trunk opening, gutter under the glass. Over time, point swelling of the paintwork appears in this area. During the warranty period, dealers repainted these places free of charge. When restyling, the disadvantage was corrected. The quality of the paintwork is mediocre. A thin layer does not resist chips well which it is desirable to process or eliminate as soon as possible. Lanterns of restyled cars have chrome trims that rust, dot swelling of the coating, as quickly as the rest of the same body jewelry. The most unpleasant thing is that they only come complete with lanterns. All suspension elements, with rare exceptions, have a very long service life. By today's standards, it can be safely called very tenacious, almost eternal. There are no problems with the electric power steering, components built into the steering column. A conventional mechanical rail does not cause trouble. A feature of many Toyota models is the rapid hanging of the rear caliper guides. They begin to rattle if the owner does not regularly service the brakes. For pre-reform cars produced from March 2011 to August 2014, there is a recall campaign. It involves inspecting the anthers of the ball joints, which could be damaged when installed in the fists at the factory. Usually they were limited to only visual inspection, only in isolated cases, due to damaged anthers, ball joints, available as separate spare parts, had to be changed. A few years ago, one of the common problems was too rapid wear of the rear stabilizer bushings. Often they died already at 30,000 kilometers, depending on the year of production on the car, either the bushings were changed separately, or the stabilizer assembly was changed. Replaced gum no longer suffered from premature aging. Engines. The inline petrol for 2.0 of the 1AZ series is only on pre-styling cars. This unit is a representative of the old guard, one of the most reliable and unpretentious among classmates. The list of his mild illnesses is limited to some weaknesses common to all Camry engines, leakage of crankshaft oil seals, fragility of the cooling system pump, phase shifter noise. Moreover, the rumble of phase shifters during the first 10 seconds after starting a cold engine appears over time, 
stops progressing and does not indicate significant wear of the nodes. According to the assurances of servicemen, with such a noise effect, you can safely drive further if you feel sorry for the money for a new clutch. A more recent 2.0 engine of the 6AR family is installed on the restyled Camry. He is devoid of problems in the mechanical part, all his troubles are from the use of direct injection. Like many similar engines from other manufacturers, 6AR is extremely sensitive to fuel quality. The situation is aggravated by the admission of 90-second gasoline. Many owners perceive this as permission to refuel anywhere, so errors constantly appear, signaling a poor air-fuel mixture due to clogged nozzles. In addition, on engines with this type of injection, deposits on the intake valves grow more actively. The common disease of Camry engines, the leakage of crankshaft oil seals, the Japanese were able to cure in the last years of production of cars, the weakness of the rear cuff, in 2016, and the front, a year later. This applies to 2.06 AR and 2.52 AR engines. On these units, the noise of the drive belt tensioner was also eliminated. The manufacturer released a modified unit. The lion's share of cars sold is armed with the 2.5 series 2 AR engine. He does not suffer from serious ailments. Unlike the 2.06 AR unit from the same family, it has a conventional multiport injection and, therefore, is quite unpretentious. However, it is on the 2 AR that the phase shifters make the most noise, among other Camry motors. And because on this engine, dealers quite often had to change the clutch on the intake camshaft. Also on the 2.5 engine, the overrunning clutch of the generator often jams. When repairing, it is changed to a modified one. Dealers do not always replace a leaking cooling system pump, applies to all Camry engines. The manufacturer has issued a bulletin with fault evaluation criteria. The pump must not be replaced if the leaks are caused by a small amount of antifreeze being bled off when overpressurized through the drain hole on the pump housing. But if the fluid is actively coming out of other places, then a replacement is prescribed. The 3.5 V6 engine of the 2GR series is another overgrown unit. He has a good reputation and is well known for the previous generation Camry and many other Toyota models. It didn't have any serious shortcomings, but there are childhood diseases common to other engines from our list, and one rare, but very unpleasant surprise. Initially, the motor had a power of 277 horsepower, but in 2013 it was deformed with the help of the appropriate firmware to a tax-friendly 249 forces. So, on the pre-reform Camry, there were cases when, under the apparent knock of the phase shifters, a faulty timing chain tensioner was hidden. The upgraded assembly began to be installed on the conveyor since September 2013. The most serious malfunction portends a knock in the fifth cylinder. For unknown reasons, it is rarely found on Camry and much more often, for example, on the Lexus GS300 and Highlanders with this engine. Due to engine overheating, it is in the fifth cylinder that seizures occur, leading to knocking and increased oil consumption. Considering that such Camrys are very often driven in the tail and main, when inspecting a used car, pay special attention to engine diagnostics. Without a king in your head, you can kill such a generally successful unit. Transmission The 4-speed automatic Eisen U240 series was installed on pre-reform cars with the 2.0 1AZ engine. The unit is quite old, but is included in one of the most successful and massive families, which boasts a high resource and reliability. All its shortcomings are reflected exclusively in the driving performance of the car, it is thoughtful and slow. Eisen 6-speed automatics of the U660 and U760 series belong to the same family with the common design base. The older box U660 appeared a little earlier and is paired with 6-cylinder engines. The U760 automatic is its later modification, assigned to engines of smaller volume and with more modest torque. In general, the units do not have weaknesses in the mechanical part but there are nuances. The U660 machine breaks down mainly due to inadequate operation. It is paired with the 3.5 engine. Many owners of such cars are too fond of urban racing and do not monitor the cleanliness of radiators. Under such conditions, the box overheats greatly and can die even after 50,000 kilometers. In this case, the valve body, body deformation, suffers first of all, which is initially sensitive to overheating, a feature of many Eisen models and this is followed by more serious damage. The U760 box relies on a 2.5 engine and restyled cars with a 2.0 engine. Such cars are operated, as a rule, in a more gentle mode.
but this is not a reason to forget about the periodic washing of radiators. This machine does not like overheating, like the U660 unit. In addition, the U760 was marked by a significant drawback, the rapid wear of the linings of the torque converter lockup clutch. And this applies only to cars with a 2.5 engine. The critical wear of the clutch clutches is manifested mainly in vibrations and jerks of the box at a speed of 60 to 80 km h The manufacturer has issued a technical bulletin, valid for machines assembled before June 2015, which requires updating the software of the machine, replacing the torque converter with a modified one and installing four additional magnets in the sump to trap metalware products. These works were performed free of charge only during the warranty period to noticeably reduce the harmful effects of the inevitable abrasion of the torque converter clutch linings even on fresh cars, due to which wear products get into the oil abundantly, fluid replacement every 60,000 kilometers will help. So long. Wrinkled or broken armrest on the driver's door is a common thing. Good thing you can buy it separately. A common defect is the peeling of the silver side lining of the power window block on the driver's door. It is replaced separately, but this is little consolation. There is still a recall campaign for the power window control unit on the driver's door. Due to the lack of lubrication in the slide mechanisms, the buttons are wedged, which leads to the burnout of the microcircuit. As part of the campaign, dealers inspect the block for thermal damage. The burned assembly is changed free of charge, and the undamaged one is lubricated. In winter, the ionizer unit, small fan, behind the front panel may whistle unpleasantly. This is a massive defect it is treated only by replacing the complete unit. The upgraded assembly began to be put on the conveyor only in August 2015. If the shock absorber mount to the glove box lid constantly flies off on a pre-styling car, you will have to change the box body assembly. The foam base of the front seat cushions wears out quickly. Its sidewalls bulge, fall into the niches of the frame and eventually tear. This leads to stretching and damage to the skin. In some cases, the repair was limited to replacing the foam rubber. In others, the replacement of the skin was added to this. During restyling, the manufacturer finalized the design of the pillows, but the problem did not completely go away. Even a new, reinforced foam base noticeably sags even during the warranty period. Quite often there is a defect in the electric drive back of the driver's seat. When adjusting the tilt, a distinct and unpleasant crunch appears. The repair involves the replacement of the half frame of the backrest. On the Preform Camry, Dealers very often change the clock spring in the steering wheel, snail, which, when the steering wheel rotated, made a nasty creak. The center armrest cover may crack and break if you lean on it with all your weight. Basically, this is the trouble of pre-reform cars, but it was not completely eradicated even during restyling. At first, the cover was changed under warranty, but later the manufacturer forbade doing this. The reason, they say, was improper operation. Original audio systems are practically no trouble, which cannot be said about the variants of Yandex with Auto, which are installed on cars of the last years of production. They have a bunch of motley problems, spontaneous reboot, reset, loss of connection and modem failure. Part is treated by flashing, but often dealers have to change these radio assemblies. Moreover, such devices are buggy on all Toyota models. Salon, the weakest point of the Camry. In addition to rapid wear and assorted malfunctions of various components, it annoys with motley crickets. The manufacturer has not overcome most of these shortcomings.